Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Monday, May 9th, 2011, and this is day 9, day number 302. It's a little dark in this room. Oh, no, it's awfully freaking dark, but that's okay, because today is wonderful. It is bright. It is perfect for exactly one reason. The greatest human being on the planet Earth, a.k.a. my perma-bestest friend in the whole wide world, is right there. <laughs> You're going to hear her laughing throughout the daily. She might not make a cameo that much, but if you want to just like put a hand in and wave... <laughs> There, wait, there it is. It's Cambria. Hi, Cambria. I would say hi to Cambria. Isn't she awesome? Now, excuse me. I need to do a show. Okay. Now, she's just going to be sitting in the back. I don't know if you guys have ever watched, like, David Letterman, where there's that, like, bald guy who just, like, laughs. That's what Cambria is going to do. <laughs> Throughout the whole show, Cambria is just going to be there to kind of be my litmus test. I think, was that joke funny? And if it was, I'll just hear... Good. All right. Perfect. Because Cambria is the giggliest human being known to man. So let's go ahead and talk about what is today's Fun Day Monday theme. It is the Hero Daily. It is about getting a unit, hot king you to zero, and then trying to get over 50 kills with it. Oh, yes. This was contributed by the fine folks on over at Reddit. However, interestingly enough, it didn't quite go the way that I would have thought. Didn't quite go... I'm going to find out why all throughout the daily. I just want to make the usual set of announcements. First and foremost, I will be finishing up grad school this week. That's what this little lady's doing here because she's just going to do that in the audience while I walk across my amazing, huge, gigantic stage or doing the graduation in outer fucking space because I'm just so pumped up. And then, and then I'll be going to Korea after that. So right after that uh, graduation on the 13th, I'm gone from the 16th to the 24th. Hmm. There'll be some uploaded content in there so that way we can still whet your appetite a little bit. However, upon returning back, you know what I'm doing full time? StarCraft 2. Yeah, uh-huh, that's right. StarCraft 2 is what's the only thing I'm going to be doing after that. That does mean that there's no funding money for next week because I will be on an airplane. But when we come back from all that, there'll be all sorts of tasty special treats. Yum, 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 yum. Let's go into the first replay of the day. Now, the first game of the day contributed by Crazy Carl and the enemy, Lotus. Uh, of course, you're only allowed one of these in your deck at a time. Ooh, that's a good reference. Now, one thing to note is that the first uh, game of every single daily is all about the introduction. Look at Crazy Carl. Pfft, good GLHF. Trying to do a little bit of, just, you know, loosening up the opponent, you know. It's like buying a few drinks before you crush them with the business deal, you know, that sort of thing. Now, um, to note, we're going to see the overall basic structure of the goal. you got to get one unit with as many kills as humanly possible, right? You have to just try to murder your opponent with the hero unit, and you must introduce him, you must make him all special and fancy, and we're already seeing why is Carl getting himself a refinery so early on? Why is that? Well, it's because Crazy Carl has a plan in store. We see Lotus, oh, doing a little bit of wall-off action. Oh, getting a bunker. What are you getting a bunker at the three-minute four? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. He's going to do his own thing. It is Scrap Station. It does have, like, the longest attack distance in the whole game, but sometimes the bunker's there just to make you not so intimidated by the act of playing StarCraft II. There's Crazy Carl still not opting for an orbital command. We don't care because you don't need a lot of resources when you're just trying to make one unit fucking awesome. And there we see a starport going down. Here comes a tech lab. What could be in store for you, Crazy Carl? What could you be up to? And there it is. There it is, a Thor getting produced. Very good. Ah, oh, yes, a Thor. Cambria's favorite unit, right, Cambria? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, that's right. That is the best background comedic relief of all time. We see a little Thor hanging out the right side of the base. There's going to be a medevac popping out momentarily. There he goes. And we're going to drop... What are... Wait, what are all you SCVs doing here? Oh, that's right. Behold, my hero. Lands it. What are you doing? You're trying to get some upgrades? I don't think so. Blast him. Shoot him down. Shoot him. F him up. And here comes all the Marines. Let's see how it works out. Not so good. Did I... Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No sound. Hey, that's what that game sounds like. Who would have thought that I would ever have the sound enabled properly? But yes, we're seeing 16 kills. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, this Thor is kind of a hero. This Thor is kind of the greatest thing known to man. Look, why don't you try a 1A with some Marines? Not working out so well, is it? Looks like we have all the SCVs. Keep in mind, SCVs can both repair each other and the medevac can heal the SCVs. 
And look at Lotus, he's having a great time. He's like, LOL, I'm doing horrifically raffle raffle. You'll never see that. I'll never be like in the stock market where someone's entire portfolio will have dropped to zero and will look, you know, over at Donald Trump and be like, hey, nice numbers, man. Never. Only in the StarCraft community, the warmest, most wonderful community known to man, where there is never even a remote drip of bad manner at any point in time. What wonderful people. Look at this. They're going to high five and hug. Maybe they'll make out. We don't know. We just know that they are incredibly close after this complete and total one-sided Hulk smashing. And look at him, look at him, even doing this cannon. Now that does mean that the Orbital Command was stunned. He couldn't go anywhere. He couldn't fight. Here come the Marauders. They're gonna get him down. Uh-oh, is he gonna get anywhere close to zero? No. Oh, we'll bring some more Marauders in. Make sure that they go in a single file line as though on way to the library in sixth grade. Notice, wow. Wow. And you see, that's not a sort of like, wow. Wow, this race is broken. Terran's terrible. That's like an impressed wow. It's like, whoa, hey, nice work, buddy. He's going to try to shoot down the orbital command. He will succeed. And there, again, the limbo line of Marauders. Not too good, dude. Going to get some more Marauders. And there it is. Oh, that's right. No hero can die in battle. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Crazy Carl, you nuts, baby. You've lost your mind, but that's fine. By the way, Carl is actually broke. He's repairing this thing so much, he can't even afford to do it. Amazing, incredible, look at Lotus. Or maybe it's Iotis. We don't care, we just know that there's an extremely nice person somewhere on the internet. They're all over the place. I swear to God. All right, good. Now, we see that he is moving his Thor on over the uh, crazy Carl Thor. He's sitting pretty at 82 kills. How many more can he get? Let's see, there's a 6, 8, 7, 8, 8, 9, 90, 91, 92. Uh-oh, better do some repairing, better do some micro. In units lost tab, we see that there are five units that have been taken out. Just SCVs, but there's over 101. Look at that. Uh-oh, and then 100 kills. Look at this, Lotus. Ugh, perfect 100 kills. Lotus saying, that's hot. He's actually mildly aroused at how good that Thor was. And that is the Hero Fun Day Monday special. Now this is what I was hoping. I was hoping people would challenge themselves, would pick a unit perhaps unbeknownst to the hero community like a Marine, or perhaps even trying to get a Zergling to get over 50 kills. I thought they would embrace that challenge. Instead, we got some weird submissions. We got people submitting a game where they just built a battle cruiser and the Zerg never built anti-air. And then he just kind of one ate around the map and won and was like, LOL, 180 kills. Thanks, Bro or Blizzard, for including broodlings inside every building. That's just like extra bonus candy. I mean, seriously, if you're trying to go for the hero daily, that makes all Zerg buildings like little pinatas where you're just getting bonus points. I'm going to wait for this plane to finish passing over. It's... You have to go? Dude, Cambria and I are such good friends that she's just leaving to go hang out with someone else. It's so cool. I was like, why don't you fly all the way from a different country to hang out, and then I'll do a show. Just sit there on my bed. All right, Cambria, high five. Woo! All right, have happy, happy going. Yeah! It's almost going to be a girl-free environment. Bye, Cambria. Bye. Oh, man. I fucking hate that girl. God. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and go into game number two. I don't hate her. She's wonderful. <laughs> Just like my favorite line in the whole universe, I will say. <laughs> All right. Let's look at why this perhaps wasn't the most <laughs> epic of submissions. All right. Let's go ahead and go in here. Where on earth is it? Where did this thing go? There it is. All right. Now we have an individual who picked what for his hero unit. What is the most heroic unit you can think of? The one that could possibly do the unthinkable and get a lot of kills. Colossus was his selection. The Colossus, a unit that's hard to kill, that can sit at range 9 from a distance and murder things. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said too. Like, don't do battle cruisers, don't do carriers, don't do freaking, freaking, freaking Colossus. Do something ball, but that's fine. We're going to see that this is at least marginally ball. We're going to find out what I mean. We have crystal spelled with a K. Ooh, very, 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 very fancy. Perhaps a suggestive name there in the bottom. We see cardboard. Not a suggestive name. He's just a little bit low on standard materials. That's fine. He's going to go ahead and make his Zerg uh, base out of whatever paper that he does have available. We're now going to see crystal. Ooh, making a one, two, three, four, five, a hexagon. Yes, not a regular hexagon. A irregular 
baller hexagon, a hero hexagon, trying to at the very least curse his opponent before the game gets too far into the midst of total destruction. We see Cardboard, oh, stealing one of the gas geysers at the unfinished expansion, whereas the main does not even have any gas mining at it whatsoever. That is very dangerous. Cardboard really ramping up the skill through the roof demonstrating why he thinks ahead. That will easily hold off any Ultra 4 Gath Sentry only push, which is actually, interestingly, something we're going to see in this game. So that does mean that Cardboard, at the very least, has a good read on his opponent. He has a spider sense going off already, and it looks like, uh-oh, uh-oh, the hex has been discovered. Run, run, little probe, keep on patrolling. No, oh, he bumped his head into a probe. Ow! Oh, and then he died. That probe is not the hero of the day, but at the very least, he's a valiant, noble warrior, acquiring at least some information before death. And now Crystal's going to go ahead and chrono boost his probes. He's going to go ahead and get himself a Nexus. He has a kind of wall off, because if we approach it from this angle, we're walled off. If we approach it from this angle, we just don't worry about that angle, okay? We don't. Now we see more chrono boosting going on. This cannon going down. All right, looks like he will be killing off his Extractor. Excellent. There's the cybernetics core going down. We see, oh yes, there's the assimilator. There's the hatchery. Cardboard accumulating quite a scary amount of zerglings. But Cardboard does have one weakness. Water. Because I don't know if you guys have ever like built a cardboard fort outside. Like I had one as a kid and it rained. It just kind of came all sort of like this flaccid pile of brown. So um, we could do that. But it looks like water is not actually an option for Crystal to produce. So he'll be producing the mighty Colossus. Here he is. Come on, yeah, get him, get him. And here it is. We're going to see. <gasps> he doesn't really have enough gas. Well, he's almost going to have enough gas for the Colossus. But he doesn't quite have enough to get range. And the Colossus, thanks to that early gas steal by Cardboard. You plan ahead, baby. You plan ahead. Wow. That's so good. You don't even need a scout. <laughs> Excellent, we're now seeing. Looks like he's going to be making a Colossus. The Colossus are très cool. That is so fantastic. We now see armor going down, because keep in mind, armor's really good at helping zealots absorb so many hits from marines. Now we're going to end up seeing, uh-oh, uh-oh, my hero is named Bob. He's at the watchtower. He says, hi, that's right, Crystal. Crystal has chosen the hero of our lands, Bob. And he will be the defender of the nation, the red mighty Protoss pieces. And there he is. He's hanging out. He's hot kid at zero. So at any time, zero, zero. All right, we can bounce on back to him. In the meantime, we see Cardboard. Oh my gosh, expanding all over the entire map. His front door is sealed up tighter than a well-packaged cardboard box. Ooh, I drank my vial of funny juice this morning. Yeah, extra strength funny juice. Don't worry if you need the funny day nine has a vial of illicit substance. It's going to work out perfectly. Now we see we're getting more armor because you never want to research armor in the same place twice. So researching it at the back door. Here is the hero himself. It looks like we're building cannons. This is actually a road map. It's actually an arrow pointing to where he wants to attack. He's going to attack this Manx statue. So very important to keep this alive. This allows his highways to have a good sense of what's going on. And uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no! Crystal, Crystal! Ah! Um, f -g um, f -g Looks like he's going to lose absolutely everything, but don't worry, we got some Colossus. Where's Bob? There's Bob. He's hanging out on the right. He's hanging out on the right. Cardboard. Getting Ultralisks and Infestors because he was left alone the entire freaking, freaking, freaking game. Now, keep in mind, if you're going to make any units, make sure you don't spend any of your minerals. Any of your minerals at all. You don't want to spend minerals ever. Just don't spend minerals He's going to build some cannons. Uh, we see some uh, Nexus going down. You can get a little bit more gas. But notice he's not mining minerals because you just don't really need that too much in this game. We do have a lot of sentries. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Colossus on the high ground. Where's Bob? Where's Bob? He's hanging out. There he is. I'm trying to get the camera away from him. But, uh, in a fit of epilepsy, we are not going to get away from Bob in the slightest. We are fixated on his awesomeness. Looks like, uh-oh, uh-oh, Bob, Bob. Bob's so bold. Calm down, Bob. Calm down, you crazy Bob. Come pull back. Oh, oh, let's see what cardboard cam looks like. 
Oh, wow. Uh, GG. Look at that. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Cardboard's gonna leave. The Cardboard's gonna say GG, because when you say GG, you generally leave. You generally make more ultra list after saying GG. Either way, here's Bobby. He has four kills. He's almost en route to being a hero. We have a lot of Colossi who are en route to being very dis distracting. I kind of like how Cardboard saw the Colossi get more right in front of his eyes and was just like, where'd those come from? Oh, GG, I guess. <gasps> Bob, 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 Woo! Thank God everything's dead. Better morph some more diversions. Crystal now warping himself on in. Now look at this very clever play. He's going to pull all his other forces to the right, so that way Bob the Colossus can get as many kills as he needs. Yes, yes, get him. Get him. Bob, doing your thing? Yeah, rip him up. Get him, Bob. Get him, Executor Bob. Executor Bob, let's see if we can get you to Executioner Bob. Executor Bob advancing forward. Yes, he's gonna get him. Oh, is there a queen there? Is there a queen? You wanna mess around? You wanna mess around? Fried, set on fire. Doused with gasoline. Good thing I play with matches. Love, Bob. Bob, Executor Bob. Very good, Executor Bob. And hey, look at this again, little pinata buildings. Thank God this is Zerg has decent. Oh, hallucinating some void rays because that is an effective technique for getting players to leave games. <laughs> And there we do see now, we're gonna have uh, Executor Bob gonna get his uh, hive down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the rest of this army, please stay out of the way. I have a job to do. And Executor Bob also not scouting at all. Two, yeah, two. I don't know why he's saying two, but he's certainly saying it. Yeah, Bob, 37 kills. You're almost there, Bob. You're almost there, 43 kills. I'm loving it, Bob, I'm loving it. A hero's welcome will be awaiting you on your way home. What the buck? Another base? Oh. If he was really clever, he would have been like, What the buck? Another face? See what I did there? Bunny juice. Drink it every morning. And two more vials before the daily. That's right. And there it is going in. 50 kills. Welcome to the hero circle. The winner's locale. We see Crystal getting a little overweight. Wait a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're going crazy. You're going crazy. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But don't worry. Crystal has a plan. Or does he? There's a lot of Zerglings on the... <gasps> On the map. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to do a little bit of roasting. He's trying to warp in a pylon. And there he is. He's got to be careful there. Zerglings, look out. Look out. Look out. Oh! That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Roast him up. Roast him up. One shot in Zergling. World shot. Yeah. Oh! Coming up on the high ground. One shot in Zergling. Oh! I'm on the low ground. Where am I at? Oh! I'm going to take the high road. You take the low road. No, you know what? I'll take the low road. You take the high road. Yeah, I'm going to hop down here on the low road. How's the high road going, Zerg? How's it going? No, I'll take the high road. Let me just back off a little bit. 74 kill, Executor Colossus. Whoa! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We'll take a little damage. Ain't no thang. Ain't no problem. These guys are 1-1. One, one. They're not going to do any damage. <gasps> run! 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 Get out of there! Get out of there! Run! Run! Run, Micro! Micro! My... Oh! What in the buck? What is your... Co He's the hero of your people, and you just send him out to die? He's not Jack Bowery. He can't take care of himself. You tell him what to do. Oh, oh, Crystal. Oh, my God. Look at this whole army coming up. And while he's saying no, throw down some force fields. Yeah, maybe those hallucinated colossi will help. Good thing we didn't spend any money. Are you going to get a new hero? Is there any new hero coming up? No, it looks like we have our Forges hotkeyed on nine, by the way. I would just like to state that mechanically, I do like that play. More uh, hallucinated colossi. We're hallucinating armored units. That way we can take maximum damage. Here comes some stalkers approaching out. Perfect. Good. 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 Here's the, is he the hero? Is he the hero? Have we even made one yet? Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. Well, it looks like we're still having a little bit of trouble here. We can't crystal. Good thing we have a million dollars saved up. Who's your new hero going to be, Bob? Who's your new hero going to be? Who's your new hero going to be, Bob? You got a hero? You killed my hero. Lol. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, God, look at this guy. He's going crazy, crazy Carl. No, it's cardboard. Crazy Carl was in the last game. Crystal, 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 dude, dude. Well, who's the hero Colossus? I guess this guy is like four kills. All right, just speeding things up a little bit. Yeah, 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 this game might end with no hero. It might end with not a heroic unit in sight. There's a good game. Hooray for the hero unit daily. Hooray for the hero unit daily. You know, I, I was kind of under the assumption that we valued our heroes. Kind of the assumption that we'd have one fail game today. But don't worry, there's more fail to come. Let's go ahead and watch a, a very cool little game where we get the chance to see someone actually having a strategy revolving around a unit. Yeah, there we go. 
Here we go. All right, let's go into game number three. Sullivan in the bottom left. Oh, and Calcium Huge. Yeah, if you want suggestive names, look no farther than the top right corner of the map. I mean, what kind of name is Calcium Huge? I kind of like that periodic table reference in there, like something like Frequently Manganese, you know, where it doesn't exactly mean anything particularly naughty, but it certainly sounds like it. Calcium Huge. What kind of name is that? Yeah, I'm with, there with my teammate Rex Strongo. Just hanging out with Dirk Strongbeef. There we go. We see Calcium Huge forcing his way into the bottom right corner of the map with this drone. Interestingly enough, in no version of uh, Shakur's Plateau can anyone actually spawn there. Interesting fact. That is an interesting f fact. How painful that is. But of course, Calcium Huge is going to do a little inspecting here and make his way down to the bottom left. We now see a Calcium Huge gonna be oh getting big throwing down an early expo hatch will sullivan do anything crazy i don't know as an american i always watch plenty and plenty of sullivan so we do see that uh nothing too extraordinary going down but wow calcium huge getting the better end of the deal getting his expansion up there's a queen going down calcium huge getting another queen going down Oh my god, there is the spine crawler. Ooh, calcium huge just building spine crawler in his main. Could have built it right here, but no big deal. Just gonna go ahead and throw that down and just sort of uh, penetrate into the ground with the spine crawler. Very good play there by Calcium Huge. We do see uh, Sullivan getting an evolution chamber, thereby allowing him to upgrade with his no gas. Excellent, excellent. Don't watch Sullivan, it'll rot your brain. Is it, is it bad to laugh at your own jokes? Is that necessarily a wrong thing? It means that when I'm by myself for like eight hours a day, a lot of times I'm like, nice one, Sean, high five. Yeah. Like, seriously, is that wrong? Is that bad of me? I mean, no one will know I'm by myself. If you laugh at your own joke in your own room, does anyone hear it? Who knows? Or maybe it's if you laugh at your own joke in a room, does a tree fall down in the forest? I don't know. Something like that. We see Sullivan getting himself yet more queens. Looks like these players are in the mood for an, a No Rush 20 game. An interesting mixture of styles from both... I don't want to look at me. Go away. Go away. Okay, there we go. An interesting mix of styles from Brood War. In Brood War, the days were the No Rush 20. The lols, my ally, so knob. My, my ally is a nude. Where those days came from. Scouting Zerglings come in, but Calcium Huge just has so much of himself blocking off this entryway that there's no chance of anything else squeezing in. Now we do see Sullivan making his way up to the top left side of the map. Calcium Huge, ooh, getting some plus plus ups. Does he have any units other than queens? No, eight queens in Infestation Pit. Perhaps we will see a hero in Festa. Perhaps we will. Perhaps not. Who knows? There is the layer going down. <gasps> and juggling his speed. Coming out from Sullivan. Queens doing nothing. Actually, neither player doing anything in the slightest. But <gasps> Calcium Huge continuing to expand the girth of these hatcheries. Just extending all the way across his base. Getting these Evo Chambers to get more and more upgrades. Will you have anything in store for us? Is it a hero queen play? Is it a... <gasps> Caverne du Ultralisque, as they say in French. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pause it. Is that how they say that in French? Like, Caverne du Ultralisque, like the apostrophe? Because I was actually looking um, at this poster over in the cinema school yesterday, and it was like Lawrence of Arabia, which is pretty sweet. But it was in French, so it was like Laurence d'Arabie, which was kind of goofy. Like, 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 what if it's like a dropship? Is it like ship de dropping? <laughs> Ship key fail do dropping. That would be so awesome. Cause let me tell you something. If you ever watch the uh, the Korean client played in StarCraft Two, it's like really proper formal Korean. So it takes like three minutes just to say that you don't have any larva because it wants to make sure that you know that it, the interface respects you. That's so great. I'm assuming it is identical in the French version. So Calcium Huge marking his territory down that bottom right with as many so hatcheries as he can in a Nidus network. <gasps> That's right. Zerglings in the base. Zerglings in the base. Oh my god. Calcium Huge has a lot of queens. Transfuse. 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 How do you lose a queen there? How do you lose a queen? You have one thing you need to hit, which is the T button. 
You have one thing. It's a thing. Oh, no, the trans. Oh, calcium huge. Calcium huge. You got a trans. Oh, my God. Calcium huge. Yeah. Oh, you lost your. Oh. It's fine. Just keep making queens. Just get big, baby. Just get big. We do now see it looks like uh, evolving melee attacks. Level 3. Excellent. Excellente, Dante. Now we do see. Finally! Yes! Calcium Huge revealing his plans, the climax of his strategy. That is right. We are now seeing Unidin, the Ultralisk hero of the swarm. Unidin, you have spawned. Unidin, Unidin, come on. It's fun day, Monday. Yay! Starcraft commute. The Starcraft commute unity is the greatest tunity in the whole world. Seriously, the Starcraft cooch commute community. Everyone's just so like, yeah, you might murder me. Whoopee! It reminds me so much of that. My anus is bleeding. You know that one? If you don't know what I'm referring to, then this is the point where I would try not to make eye contact in real life anymore. I'd go, oh, you don't know it? Oh, huh. Funny story. Well, there's this cartoon. Ooh, look this one. I'm just gonna go because my grandmother's freezing to death. Bye! And just sort of disappear, so. Alright. Calcium huge. Moving out. Sorry, I have to go. I gotta go put down my cat. Woo! How awkward. Yay! Let's do this! Alright, yeah! Oh, that's a little bit anticlimactic. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's more how I'm feeling, Calcium Huge. Get there. Get there. Look, even the Ultralisk, by the way, programmers at Blizzard, you're amazing. Look at this Ultralisk. Even slowing down the walk animation. Yeah, look at this slow-mo, baby. Even Calcium Huge getting the lull, man. You want to savor this moment. This is like Baywatch. In what way? David Hasselhoff is the Ultralisk. And the queens are the ladies. Yes, indeed, Calcium Huge, identifying all that we need to know about this moment in gameplay. In the meantime, though, Calcium Huge, advancing with a fairly intimidating force, do some damage. Uh-oh, uh-oh, queens, now speeding up. Broodlords, take them out, take them out, take out the Broodlords. Snipe, snipe, no, no transfuse. Transfuse, okay, gonna select all the units. We gotta do some transfuses. Transfuse, transfuse, ooh, keep that hero ultralisk alive. Keep unit in alive, keep the... Okay, transfuse, transfuse, just hit the T button. Just make sure you transfuse, 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 calcium huge, transfuse, transfuse. What's with your aim, calcium huge? Oh gosh, you're just getting it everywhere. What the hell? Uh, calcium huge, calcium huge. Oh gosh, calcium huge. I'm getting calcium smaller by the moment just watching this. Come on, all right, you got it. All right, there's some more focus transfuse. There we go, get him. There's two brood lords. that's all you gotta do. Yes, oh, he's a metamorph, he has 20 kills. All right, Calcium Dude, you got it, baby, you got it. Just pick off those ultras that are spawning an infinite stream of broodling. No, no, I believe in you, Calcium Dude, though. I believe in you, I believe in you, uh-oh. Keep taking them down, just target the brood lords. just target the brood, look. Why do people Submit games of the hero. Dying. Think of your favorite movie, all right? Let me just... Think of your favorite movie of all time where there is a hero character. What if on the climb to, like, um... How am I forgetting my Lord of the Rings reference? Where's the evil place that he had to go? Mordor. Oh my god, did I lose nerd cred? Look at me with my arcade educated shirt. Yeah, I'm fucking nerdy. And where was it? Was it a Tatooine that he had to take the ring to in the movies? Pfft. Yeah, Mordor. What if in that movie he just like tripped over a bucket and broke his skull open and Sam was like, Oh! Damn it! And the movie ended, right? It would be, you would not get very far with the studio. Everyone would be like, Oh, Peter Jackson, what are you doing, man? Oh, I wait, calcium huge. Uh, where's this Ultralisk? Now I have no base. Oh yeah, that's right, a counterattack went on with Mutalisks. Too bad we were making mass queens and couldn't deal with them. That's cool, it's fine, it's fine. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn! We're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. Some Ultralisks spawn, but you know, you know, you know what the kill count was on those Ultralisks? It was like 10 max, 10 tops, 10 kills. Let's go ahead and look at someone who actually tried to make a hero work. Let's look at someone who actually devoted themselves to the Fun Day Monday topic. Any of you ever played this game type? Any of you ever played 4v4? 
Oh, I certainly have. I'm moderately highly ranked in my bronze division. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. I'm a little bit talented. I'm a little bit good at what I do. I don't know. I just pick things up and I just easily 99th percentile. Here are the enemies down here at the bottom. We'll come to them soon. Well, actually, right now we have Dark Angel. We have Terran It Up. Ooh, Terran It Up. Seen you around the servers before. We see Jack. We see Bowers. But man, look at the names up at our team. This is Light Poner. He's the hero of the hero units today. Yeah, that's right, Light Poner. We see Bean King. We see Holy Avenger, which is always a phrase I say when I stub my toe and I'm like, Boom, ow, Holy Avenger, that hurt. Oh. Anytime someone has a name, I like to just try to imagine it as in a completely different context. Um, like the Holy Avenger one, because I don't know if you guys do this, but I play games with myself, like, all the time. I was actually talking about this on the stream yesterday. Like, for instance, when I send myself an email, like, for instance, if I need to print off an essay for school, not that I'll be doing that in one week, but still, I send myself an email, and, you know, normally I have title as essay for class, and in the body it says... You are one hot stud, Sean. And I'm in a hurry, and I run to school, and I open it up, and I inevitably forget. And I look at it, and I go, oh, my God, I didn't realize I could make myself blush, but I'm a, I did do my hair a little better today than normally, you know, that sort of thing. I was even saying yesterday that the folder for my dailies on my external hard drive is not labeled as dailies. It is labeled as horse porn. Um, not, not because there's anything but dailies in there, but, you know, just because every time I have to transfer a daily onto my external, I smile, I giggle, right? It's great. And if someone ever used, I haven't, I've had this, the same hard drive for like a year now. And if anyone comes into my room when I'm gone and looks at it, they're going to see a 2.3 terabyte file labeled as horse porn. Just that we have a little bit of fun. Have you ever tried to pronounce license plates? I was by yesterday and he was really bad at driving he was like what are you doing what are you doing and you know just play games with yourself make your life a little bit more awesome you know what i'm saying all right sweet i'm going mass voids what about you guys doing a little bit of strategy discussion nukes galore try stalker voids seek by the way not my experience one thor kills five five voids i'm diamond now i'm tossing zerg <laughs> One upgraded void kills five Thors. Thor so strong. Lol, damn, let's play. No, they splash. All sorts of intense debate going on. We do see that there is a barracks going down. Whatever you say, man, I'm going voids. You guys, pro, we see Bumpire. Oh, yeah, he's the last person we uh, didn't introduce. Bumpire. Spawning at the top position. We do like that, but you know who's going to be the real hero today? Light Poner. All right, we see Light Poner just kind of checking some out. What the for cannons? And then he throws out a little heart. Of course, you need some defense if you're going uh, mass void race. And look at Holy Avenger and Bumpire being like, "Lol, damn!" Just play Light Poner. Light Poner doing a little uh, raffle. Like, what are these cannons doing? I hope no one looks at your base, Light Poner. How embarrassing! How embarrassing! I actually found a folder on your computer called. Season 1 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Would be embarrassing, but that's actually a really good show. Yeah. There was another folder called Gilmore Girls. What's that doing on your What's that doing on your computer, Light Power? What's that doing? Just label his horse porn next time. I'll fix things a little bit. I'll keep guys out. <laughs> horse porn, season 2. Horse, season 8? Are they still oh, going? Man, that's great. a popular show. All right, we do see now, uh, there's the uh, Ghost Cabby making the Mobius Reactor. There's the personal cloaking. We see, oh, getting some nukes down. Good to get all the upgrades down. <gasps> One ghost going down. If we look at the resource counting station, we see that he has the lowest food on his entire team. And there it does. Go down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we have a ghost. This is my hero. Hear him roar. Look at that, getting pinged. Will he be making any more units this game? We will never know. Well, we will. I mean, we're actually going to watch. Yeah, day nine daily. Heart you, right, Poner. Uh, I kind of messed that up, but that's fine. I do not use the backspace P, period. Who needs extra gas? I do, Bean King. Just saving up some gas for himself. Transferring it all. Now he's broke. Getting the warp gate? Nah, we don't need no warp gate. And there we go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Be careful, be careful, be careful. The hero, the hero. Oh, get him out of there. Leave him in there! Retreat! Retreat! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! 
All right, there's the ghost finally landing. Okay. We see, oh, Bean King Stalker is trying to move down to the bottom. Trying to get into a reasonably yeah, adequate position. You see, there's the Ghost Academy going down. There are more Stalkers trying to advance forward, but at the same time, this is the hero that we're looking at today. All right, everything's repaired, everything good, fine. I don't care oh, if there's a max so army up here. And look, Light Power. Oh, Light Poner, excuse me. Was I calling him Light Power? Light Poner? I don't know, that guy. Here he comes, his mighty ghost. All right, there he is, the hero of the day. There he is. Ooh, he's cloaked. He's hidden. Oh, some marauders. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh! Okay, no, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. We're actually gonna nuke. Um, uh, I guess we're gonna go down here. We're gonna nuke. Alright, he's gonna sneak forward. He has to get over 50 kills. <gasps> and there it is. Come on, get him at the same time. Oh, no. There's. Oh, my God! Tearing it up, doing some serious damage. We see a whole base was killed. And we're gonna see a successful... Two kills from Light Power, who now has 31 food still. The, oh, not the loss of his entire team, because it looks like Bumpire getting a little bit wounded there. Under the uh, guise of intense power and in action going down there. Bleak, thanks. Uh, no reason not to use profanity when really thanking someone extremely adamantly. Is it getting too hot? All right, there's the ghost. He's going to try to pull back, but that's fine. He's cloaked. He's cloaked. He's going to be... Uh-oh, <gasps> uh-oh. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Okay, he's at 40 health. He's at 28 health. He needs to go. Light power. Thank God you had that medevac there. All right, pull him back. Let's get this healed up. Let's get this repaired. This is the most important thing going on. Making sure that this guy is okay is the number one most important thing in the world. Hallucinated void rays? No, them's real. Them's do the damage. We do see it. Many a more stalker continue to be produced, but you know what? Light Poner is focused. He's not going to donate any money to his weakened ally. He needs to save all this money in case he needs to rebuild his base a whole bunch of times. More nukes going down. Light Power moving out. Oop! Don't want to go there. Oh! No! Oh! Shoot him! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Too good! Too good! Ghost plus one medevac. Looking good, but let's go ahead and pull this thing back. We need a repair. Light Power keeping the focus real. And now he's moving out, trying to find it. Oh, you don't want to go that way. Oh, ooh, no, oh, no. Oh, Got to sneak back. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Doesn't it even feel like you're playing single player? Isn't that that, that single player gritty feel to it? I mean, there's battles going on all over the place right now. I mean, look at this. We have like a whole base that's been getting killed, reviving. We see all that jazz going down. Ooh, tearing it up, getting all sorts of unit mixes. But if we can just nuke this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And there's the scan. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah, oh! And the ghost, our hero, died with a valiant. Ah! Never say die. Not my hero. Ah. Seriously, oh, I do not understand why people submitted me so oh, many oh, games of their heroes effing freaking oh, dying. But that's okay. We're going to see Light Poner pull back at the same time. Basically, uh, the team is trying to win a 3v4 right now because Light... Oh, Light Poner doesn't want to necessarily go that way. He needs to plan this thoroughly. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, Cloak, yes. And then, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Yes, get him. Get him, nuke him, nuke him. Yeah, turn it up. Getting smacked. 16 kills. And then we see a Planetary Fortress. Wait a minute. What's this Planetary Fortress doing by his destructible rock? He really wanted that expansion. There's four people on the team. Any one of them could have teamed up to knock down the... Very intimidating and scary, destructible rocks, but indeed, no. No, we couldn't do that. I mean, seriously, this guy, like, tearing it up just wanted it badly. I mean, don't worry, I'll drive us to the movies, but that car doesn't have a front seat. I'll just drive from the passenger seat. It's fine, but you're three feet tall. I don't care. I'll just reach over to the steering wheel. I got this used paper towel roll. I'll just push the gas pedals. Let's do this! I want to watch Thor. It got a good review on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, why tearing it up? Why didn't you just kill off the destructible rocks? But that's fine. I think, I think six? Six is the money button? Yeah, that's right. Look at this total, complete annihilation. Shh, I'm planning a stealth reconnaissance mission. To oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh, no. Retreat. Retreat. Get me out of there. Uh, uh, uh. Trying to retreat. Pull back. Oh, there's destructible rocks. Don't worry. Defensive nuke coming up. No. Okay, be careful. Oh, there's the nuke going down. There it's going down. Will he get it? Ooh, come on, defensive nuke, run down. Ah, blast! 
It didn't really work. All right, well. Well, crap. Well, let's, let's make some more nukes. Yep, there we go. All right, let's go to the unit counting station. We have a ghost, a medevac, and some nukes. And uh, not that many SCVs. But, oh, cloak again, cloak again. Come on, Captain Ghost. Oh, the defensive. Oh, he moved. Damn it. All right, nuke there. Nuke there. And he walked. P oh. God, it's hard to do these defensive nukes. Um, looks like he's going to have a little bit of a problem defending his whole effing bay. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. In the meantime, like, yep. Total battle going on here. Yep. Orange, would you by chance need some help from some voids? Holy Avenger, look at that. Holy double, what the f Avenger. Did you see that? Did you see? Did you see that? A little bit of history, a little bit of history. There was some smack talk that occurred way, way previously. See right there. We see, we see, uh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, yeah, whatever you say, man. I'm going voids. Yes, cannons. I'm glad you've heard of them. Man, holy Avenger. Looking at Orange's base being hollowed out like a slowly dissipating ice cream bin. And just laughing. Ha ha ha. Maybe you need help from these here void rays. Mmm. I don't want Holy Avenger on my team. He's not a team player. Actually, he is a team player. But you know what? I'm still pretty upset. I'm still pretty upset. Actually, he's probably doing the best of anyone here. Our allies. Yeah, actually, he's going to be doing some help. And look at Bumpire. He's throwing out the yes. But that's okay. Because look at Light Poner. Light Poner just going to re-land at the bottom of his base. Look at how bold this is. He lost his whole base. And he's like, I need some more gas, dude. <gasps> but we're going to launch a nuke. Will it work? Will it work? Light Poner. Oh! Yes! Get him, Light Powder! You have 46 kills. A hero is born. Load him up. Get him out. Load him up. 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 Oh! Oh, thank God. They don't suck too bad now. Oh, yes. Did you see that? Ghost had no more base. And what did he say? Nuke landed. He was like, yes, yes, yes. Yes! Yeah! All right! You have nothing left. You do not own things anymore. But you do have experience, Light Poner. And that goes a long way. Coming right back, it looks like uh, the rest are... There's some Phoenixes doing some junk over here. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, by the way, for future reference, don't only go nuke defend yourself somehow so you don't drag down your team. Holy Avenger, feeling a little bit a little bit frowny right now. We see, uh, where are them Void Rays at? Ah, found them Void Rays. Oh, blinking up. Will he pick off the Stalkers in time? Dark Angel, not going to work too well. Lyponer, Lyponer, where is your medevac? That's fine. You got Commander Ghost down. You have eight food. Uh-oh, he's getting revealed. Oh, a hero's reveal. Your entire base has been revealed. Thank God, Holy Avenger has all these void rays. Oh, no, more Phoenix is doing their aggression action. More stalkers trying to move in. Just turn around, Holy Avenger. Just turn around. Just turn around, give him a little void sauce. There it is. Mmm. Nom nom nom. Time. Uh oh, Light Poner, stay in focus. Day 9, I love you. I love you too. And there it is. Oh, 64 kills. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah, what are you doing back home? What's going on in the production tab? Nothing. I don't need no production. Uh oh, retreat, retreat, retreat. Be careful, be careful. Load up. Pull back. Is there even a command center anywhere? Well, he did build some extra barracks. Yeah, he's, he's building this SC, uh, this factory because you need a factory to be able to build nukes. Uh, now we're getting around to building the command center. Lol, 66 killed ghosts. Look at this, like, everything's dying up here. There's these huge forces sweeping around the map, killing absolutely everything. But you know what? Our good old uh, orangey player, he's very happy just to have his little ghost alive. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Total devastation, Hell Avenger. Trying to defend against the masses that are the enemy. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Single player game and a multiplayer game. Do -do 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 -do. Quick, cover my only unit that I own. So that way I can do a nuke. Look at this. Look at this authority. Alright, he's gonna go out. He's doing some intense micromanagement. All right, the Void Rays 1A-ing everything with complete and total ease. And there's the cloak. This is kind of like if you were at the front lines of a bunch of tanks getting ready to blast down the front doors of a whole fortress. And you're saying, hold on, I need to screw on my silencer. 
That's what I'm talking about, Light Poner. Making sure that, hey, maybe someone didn't notice yet. And we want to we wanna account for everything. You don't know that someone isn't paying attention. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Void Rays here, but you know what? He's mine. There go the Void Rays. They're mine. Yes, and there it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh! oh, 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 oh yeah, 85 kill goals. Feeling satisfied, almost having a base up and operational. Give me more nukes, give me them more nukes. We see more Void Rays coming in. Okay, you had, you had to have any units. Holy Avenger is someone from a 1950s movie. I have more, and you have hardly any, mister. We do now see Holy Avenger. Holy, what the fuck, Avenger? Void Rays are good, but that's not the whole point. We do see <gasps> Light Corner trying to move forward. Uh-oh, Jack doing a little bit of micro against Beam King. Don't worry, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. I got, oh, nope, never mind, back up, retreat. I'm a good ally. I contribute to the team. This is so helpful. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's like a whole bunch of stuff dying up here. Light put, oh, is there a nuclear launch detected? Yep, there it is, there it is. And, oh, yeah, 96 kills, and look at Light Poner, literally howling with laughter. Let's look at the food counts. Seven. Seven food. 28, 108, 65, holy Avenger. And look who has the most money in the whole game. That's what we call a hero daily, my friend. That is what we oh, call a heroic a daily. Attack. We're going to go ahead and uh, just advance forward. Yes, we do see the noble, unbelievable, Nuclear epic, missile. fantastical freaking medevac <gasps> making his way forth. Go land, mighty nuke. Yes! Omg 98, get him. Get him, ghost. Get him. Get him. Go get him. Come on, ghost. Come on. Come on, you need to find a vulnerable point. All right. Oh, 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 two phoenixes there. Very risky play. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole bunch of shit killing everything, but shh, very quiet. My sounds are just got. Oh! No! The end. So that's something I always find very interesting. Again, about all the submissions that happen. Normally, we like to have one fail submission of the uh, Day Nine Daily Funday Monday because it's fun to see someone fail. But we have a multitude of them. But don't worry, don't worry. I have the final treat for you, fine folks, because I know you've been waiting so long. I know you were waiting for the treat at the end. Blankwe, the hero Thor. Blankwe. Who's he? Don't worry. There's going to be a little bit of history coming up. So we do have Ein in the left position. We have Marcos spawning in the north. Marcos. Marcos, I'm trusting you to do a real legit game. You don't have allies upon which to rely. That is right. No dangled prepositions on this daily. We value grammar as the thought hammer. We do see Marcos. Oh, doing a little bit of a wall off. Oh, we see a drone scout. The map is Slag Pits. JP McDaniel's favorite map in the universe. There is a cunning refinery landing down. We do see Ein making himself Ein spawning pool and Ein extracting. Wall off is complete though. Orbital command coming up. Oh, doing a little looped around scout. Fantastic. It is a 1v1. It's going to be a little bit rough. <gasps> A Roach Warren doth buildeth. Oh, Marcos. You don't see that uh, very often, but let me tell you something. Roach Warrens are 100% bejeweler in my book. B-J-E-U-J-U-E-L-E-R. The classic day nine made up word that I haven't used in oh so long. That is bejeweler, delicious bejeweler. There are a series of roaches coming down in the cheesiest cheese of all time. Even more deliciously cheesy than pepperback. Pepperback. Pepperback cheese. Mixes the wonderful flavors of peppers and backs together in a deliciously nuggety, cheesy bit. It's actually pepper jack and it's quite good. Had some with pepperoni the other day. Mmm. Mmm. Meantime, we see Marcos trying to build up a lot of units. Marcos. Marcos. Yes. We don't see anything coming out of you yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A Thor. Or, or, excuse me. A Thor rush. A Roach rush, but get and defend it. Get at him, all base. I don't think so. My name's Marcos. And all I defend the front. Very good. Marcos now having his Mirauders hanging out properly. We do see oh, hey, there's a medevac going down. An expansion from Ein. Ein expansion. Getting himself Ein layer. And now we see... Oh, 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 what's this Marauder doing? What's this Marauder doing? Come back, come back. What's this Marauder doing? Yeah, yeah, get out. All right, go, 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 Marauder. Go, Marauder. You're bold. What you doing out there? What you doing? Okay, pulling back. Yeah. Yeah, I see where he's going. I see where he's going. The hero unit rule. Move that hero to the center and let the world know who he is. Marcos, who is your hero? 
Hey, Marcos, are you there, dog? This marauder, Occam, shall be my hero. Hotkey him a zero. Yes, he will kill 50 of your um, Minoins. 50 Minoins will be dying upon discovering what a Minoin is. Holy Minoin. But in the meantime, uh oh, we got an overlord in space. We gotta clean that up. Another expansion going down from Ein. Marauder still in the middle, quite vulnerable, and not the best spot for a hero, but we're gonna hockey him a zero. We're gonna bring him right on back. Now, how the hell do you get a Marauder to get 50 kills? Well, you know what? Marcos has a plan. Loading up that lone Marauder with a whole bunch of buddy Marines. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And an attack of force, unparalleled in all creation, moving the medevac. <gasps> Along the left side of the screen. Aspire's done, though. Oh, but thank goodness only one Mutalisk. Ein doesn't have thine third and fourth geyser. Here comes a drop. Here comes a drop. Oh, backing off. You gonna wait? No. No, I'm going for it. And there it is. Here comes the hero Marauder. There he is. He's Occam. Occam the Marauder. Do the damage. Stimming. He has three kills thus far. Yes. Yes, Occam. Do that damage. Do that damage. Marcos pulling back, trying to get himself into the safest spot on the map. Uh oh, got hide. <laughs> That's a heartbeat. Oh my god, the tension. Marcos, will you escape in time? Where will the mutilus go? They have him pinned, but do they know? Do they know about this medevac? Occam. Occam can only sit and wait and hope and pray that he does not get killed by these mutilisks here. My god, Ayn really doesn't- Oh, thank god! Oh, thank god! Get out of there, Marcos! He's taking himself an expansion. He's building more marines and marauders and tanks. He's taking himself his natural expansion. Adding on more barracks and getting himself an armory. And there he goes. Advancing forward in the medevac. Oh, oh, you're so lucky, Marcos. We do see the mutilisks now at the north side of the map. Oh, they're going to get repelled by all of the turrets. There's the tech lab getting targeted. And Occam, Occam going to come back and make a little special visit. He's going to make a special visit. He's going to do some damage. He's going to definitely do some damage. And there he is. Four kills, though. Get out of there. Holy crap. Run away. There's Mutilus. Look out. Look out. Oh, my gosh. What an excellent play. He has to return that home safe. He's actually going to charge those Mutilisks. Will he? No. Oh. He's doing a little bit of firing. A little bit of blasting action. Run out of there, Marcos. Run home. Look at him, individually controlling Occam the Marauder, trying to get him into the safe position. That's fine. We have a lot of tanks and Marauders, but we don't want to use them quite yet. This guy only has four kills. We need to get 46 more to qualify for the Day 9 Daily. We do now see... Okay, cool. More Mutalists beginning to advance. Looks like Ayn is conquering the map. He's getting more upgrades rapidly, getting that plus one for the Roaches, taking the bottom of Slag Pit's second natural base. There we see Marcos. Where are you, little Marauder? There he is. Just sitting there, you know, Marco's going to take it easy. Not going to go into any sort of crazy micro situation. All right, but he is going to drop. He is going to be, oh, first going to be repairing this before he ends up trying to move out again. Oh, no, Mutalus. Oh, no, Mutalus. Unload. Get Occam out of there. Oh. Oh. The hero of the land. Oh, my God. He was riding a bus, and they just drove over a giant pool of molasses on accident and flipped over into a pile of lava. Why were you driving a bus over a molasses-covered road by lava? Oh, Marcos. Akko did not have a hero's death. He had a herp de death herp de derp de died But that's fine, because you know what? Marcos, Marcos knows that he has to continue with the hero daily theme. All right, we got another we got another marauder going down. Marcos is going to name him what? Who is the new hero? Who is he? Mark shall be my new hero. He too will kill you all. Interesting that you name the marauder after yourself. I think that's a good technique. I do like that marauder placement and Ein's like, "Yeah, Ein's improving. I approve." And it looks like all right. And let's, you know, one of my favorite sayings is that uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, if it's been working, I mean, if a one, if a one Marauder six Marine drop has been working every time, I'm not gonna stop. I mean, it was so effective with Occam. 
It's fine. It's fine. To each his own, Marcos. I believe in you. I believe in you as a submitter to the Day 9 Daily. You will absolutely be valuing the life of this hero. And there he is, taking out the Queen, doing massive damage to the expansion. Oh, three kills on Mark. Marcos controlling Mark quite well. Get out of there. Oh, oh, oh. Hooray for Mark. Don't celebrate yet, Ein. Don't celebrate yet. No. No, Marcos. It wasn't the best decision. Get him out of there. Stim, run. Run. Stim, run. Run. Marcos. All right. Marcos crying for his lost brethren. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. He's just going to take an expansion. Whoops. I'm sure Ayn has no idea. Marcos just seems a little crazy just talking to himself all the time. So we're going to see Marcos just sort of abandon the plane. He's going to go ahead and get that plus three upgrade. He's going to continue to expand, get himself planetary forces, secure more bases. He's going to be doing some turtling for the time being. He has a lot of marauders, a good amount of marines. He has those stores there to do a little bit of backup. But this army is growing ever potent by the second for Zerg. Uh-oh, 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 oh no! Oh no, Marcos! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, ooh, building another house on quicksand. This mighty Thor, Simon, will be our new champion. Man, this poor city just getting heroes churned out by the minute. Woo! Oh, man. You now see Marcos. All right, where are you? There's Simon. Yes, Simon the Thor will be the hero, the defender of our lands. Marcos, you know... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, if dropping has been an effective way for our heroes to get exposure, you know, to get a little bit of experience, just keep dropping, just keep dropping. Uh-oh, uh-oh, a battle going on, but of course, when there's a whole bunch of siege tanks and marauders and marines, and of course, the ever-essential point defense drone to defend against those roaches, you can absolutely be secured as Deterran pieces. And now we're going to see Marcos just kind of sitting, chilling, sitting in a location where he's absolutely, totally impervious, especially to, like, mutalisks and stuff. Oh, yeah, there's some mutalisks and stuff, and there he is. Yeah, Simon! Blast him, Simon! Do that damage! Do it! Blast him, Simon! Marcos believing in it. Marcos, yes! And here, uh-oh! Yeah, you want to try to blast me with an Ultralisk? I don't think so. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, mutalisks, that's my specialty! I'll just shoot down all those mutalisks. I'll just shoot them down. I'll just... Our champion has fallen. Our glorious hero of the people is dead. Well, that's fine. That's fine, because uh, Marco's gonna cry for his lost... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Marcos. Moving forward. Hey, Marcos, where do you get all your heroes from? Oh, you just go down to Le Red Lobster. You can pick them up fresh out of the tank. Marcos, I think I think you should be a little more prudent. These are fucking heroes, man. These are your heroes. Gonna go right on down. Well, these heroes, you know, when you get them out of the tank, they got rubber bands over their snappers. That way they don't bite you, you know. Gotta be a little bit careful. But that's fine, that's fine. You just throw them in the pot to do their little hero thing. It's not a big deal. So we see, uh-oh. Ooh, I'm getting dangerously worried about this Thor. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Ooh, a new champion is here. Blankwe. Oh, Blankwe. We had an Occam, a Simon, a Mark, and now a Blankwe. I'm feeling it. All right, good. We now see Blankly getting some upgrades. Blankly continuing to monitor himself. Some more upgrades coming up. Marcos has a no attack ever policy. We have a whole bunch of SCVs loaded up. Uh, likely to transfer down to this bottom right expansion, but instead... <gasps> and there it is. There's the medevac moving out. Oh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. We could try to keep our hero alive. Oh, my gosh, that's like that moment in the Matrix when Neo is suddenly injected in through his brain with all martial arts knowledge in like five seconds. He kind of has that, I can heal my Thors. <laughs> Show me. Huge, crazy scene. Welcome to the Matrix. You think those are medevacs you're breathing right now? What? <laughs> All right, cool. We now see medevacs moving to the bottom side of the map. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nidus in your natural. Gonna get some mass queens. Which base can I take? Yeah! 
this one, Marcos. You can take this one. You just gotta do some blast in time. And there it is. Yes. Yeah. Shoot him down. Kill him. Shoot those eggs. Yeah, Marcos. I'm worried about Blankwe because Zerg has an ever-growing force of broodlords, of roaches, of hydras, of zerglings, of ultralists, of nidus networks, and infestors. How do you counter one of everything? Uh-oh. Looks like Zerg has the perfect mix, and here comes Marcos unloading Blankwe, unloading the servants of Blankwe, his Scott, his squires, trying to do as much damage as possible. Marcos, repair, repair, ein, ein doing sein damage. Murder and total devastation happening, but we don't really care because a hero is being forged in the bottom corner of the map through hardened steel and buildings that can't shoot back. Marcos will send Blankly forth to vanquish the buildings. To go oh, to vanquish, to, to would severely intimidate the building who is intimidated. And there it looks like, uh oh, total counterattack. Marcos, defend, 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 defend. Brood roars. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Marcos, unload! Unload, Marcos! Be careful, be careful! Whew, he's managing to unload. He's managing to get out there. It looks like he has 3-1 upgrade. 16 kills, 17. He's going for 18. Will he get it? Blankwee. Uh-oh, the Broodlord's still doing a lot of damage, but it looks like he's pulling back due to one Viking. Oh, Ein Broodlord's making Ein bad decision. Looks like 22, 23, 24. Get him! 25! That's what I'm calling. That's some heroism. Her heroism, I don't know why that word is so hard for me to say, but it is, and I'll just accept it. Oh, yeah, repair it, repair it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh! Get him out of there! Get him out of there! Oh, Marcos, why do you let your heroes die so much? Oh, oh my god. Oh, again, do not let Marcos direct any Hollywood picture because that would be so great if at the end of Avatar, the guy just blew up the tree and killed Sam Worthington. And then he was just dead. The end. And he's like, but it's realistic. That happens sometimes. Not everyone, no, no, the heroes don't always win. The other guy's kind of a hero for burning down this huge tree. Oh, I didn't let the sun in. It was too cold. Gosh, Marcos, going to the edge. At least pick up, pick up the SCVs. Save them. Save the SCVs, like little squires. I will follow you to the end, Hero Blanqui. I believe in you. But Marcos, directing his own little version of the story, will only have one survive. Oh my God, that was a crisis. Just repair, yeah. Oh, oh, come on, come on, do some repairing. Come on, come on, Blanqui's hurt. Come on, there we go. Oh. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh, Commander Thor. Commander Blankwe. Trying to advance forward. Okay, we now have Marcos. Trying to, you know, construct a little bit more of them Vikings. A little bit more of them Thors. A little bit more of them Marines. Just anything they can shoot up because Broodlords are getting a little bit intimidating. Scary time army still there. The Thor totally out on its own in the bottom left. Could be a little scary. Could be a little bit problematic. Oh, oh yes, Marcos. Get out of there. Why don't you fly home? Why don't you flap? Why don't you shoot your little broodlings? Think that'll be helpful? Huh? You think that'll work? Huh? 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 Got a oh shit. Uh oh. Alright. Defense. Defense, defense, defense. We're trying to do as best we can, but keep in mind, a hero is being born right now. Yes. Kill the bi- uh oh. Well, let's just kill these buildings and let's get out of here. Let's see if there's some way that the hero Thor... We've seen Simon die. We've seen Occam die. We've seen Mark die. Loading up roaches are there. All right, it's cool. Just pull back. We've dealt with a little bit of a problem in our main. It was a little bit of an issue. But it looks like we see a vulnerable main here. There's nothing left mining, but that's okay. We're going to shoot buildings. We're going to get the spire. It looks like it just might work. The Ultralis Cavern is going to fall. It falls. Oh, some free kills. 44 kills. 47. Three kills away from being a hero. Marcos, can you keep your hero alive? And he gets 50 kills. 50 kills. 50 kills. He's still alive. Yoo-hoo. Boring match. GG. <gasps> Blank we the hero of the people. Oh, 58 kills, noble blank. We, we will hoist you upon our shoulders, even though it might crush us beneath your giant metal body. Oh, blank. We finally, oh my God, blank. We, that was exhausting trying to find a hero. But keep in mind, Marcos did direct the movie Unbreakable, and he knows exactly how heroes are found. Spoiler alert. Oh my god, that hero finding was so epic that I'm exhausted as well. 
Whew. Either way, thank you very much for tuning in to the Hero Fun Day Monday. As it turns out, submitters are not so good at keeping those heroes alive unless it's a battle cruiser or a carrier or something equally easy and schmeasy peasy to deal with. But no, we saw the Thor twice and some Ultralists and some Ghosts. Look, we just did a daily, all right? It's done, it's behind us, and I'd like to thank all of you for participating and submitting. And I'd like to thank all the fun subscribers yesterday for playing some mana battles with me. Woohoo! That was totally awesome. Uh, definitely going to be doing that again sometime. For any of you who don't know what I'm talking about, there is a Day 9 TV voluntary subscription service where nothing changes if you don't subscribe. But if you do, you get a little star in the chat badge. You get the chance to play Mono Battles and games with me. You can subscribe at JustinTV slash Day 9 TV and just scroll around and look around and you shall find it. <gasps> and it's, it's overpriced. It's $5 a month. Ooh, ooh. So that's one less trip to Burger King per month. Don't worry about it. It's going to work out well because I have far more nutritional value. Either way, thank you so much. You're all beautiful people. No fun day Monday tomorrow I'll, or on next Monday because I'll be on a plane. No newbie Tuesday tomorrow because I'm doing all sorts of final crazy business with my thesis. And I will graduate on 13th of May. It'll be amazing. High five, Sean.